Hey guys, <clears throat> I was digging through my logs recently and I've stumbled upon this round cylinder. It's the E squared log and I have completely forgotten about this log. It was uh, about two, two and a half years ago maybe. I asked, I saw a video of uh, Bosnian Bill picking it, video 706 if you're interested, on his channel. Uh, and I actually wrote him a message and asked him, asked him if he could give it to me because I really found it, first of all, beautiful and second of all, quite challenging. Look at the bidding. He was very kind then and he actually sent me the lock. So, um, now two years later, thanks Bill, for the lock and I'll climb this thing up and we will try to pick it. See you in a moment, guys. So, I'll climb it up. And let's have a look if I can actually pick this log. Here's the key once again to have a look on the bidding. I think it's absolutely insane. Well, let's have a look. And pardon the noises, the kids are watching a movie, so there might be some noise on the background. So. I fell into a deep false set, guys. Here. Now, even deeper false set. And there we go, the lock is open. Okay, um, not really that hard, at least not that as hard as I imagined. So I'll change the angle a little bit so that you can see better. Uh, but still, very nice lock, I actually like it a lot. So let me let's remove it and I will take it apart so that we can see what's inside. screw for this thing. So, and I think this one should do the trick. Hmm. Maybe this one is not the right one. Let me have a look again. Okay, this one works better. So, see if this four will work. Yes, I think it will fit. There we go, all six pins are inside. I don't see any nastiness in sense of counter milling and stuff. There are, oops, I think I almost lost one. These are the passive pins. So then these are the passive pins. We have two from this side and I assume two from this side. So one and the other one, the, well, they all fell. So very, running away pins, whoops, and there we go, we made a giant mess, um, anyway, 
I will figure it out later, but as far as I can quickly see, they are all standard and slightly tapered. You can see on the top there is a little bit of tapering. So let's dump them all here. And as I said, I'll figure out the order later. Cool. So um, let's see what's on the bottom. Hopefully I will not make a mess with the bottom. So number one is standard. Spring. Also standard. Next one is a uh, kind of a spool pin or serrated or a very large serrated or a very small spool. Not sure which one. The next one is a... Oh! That's an ASAP pin! Never picked an ASAP pin before. Okay. Looks like an ASAP pin. Very nice. And we have another spool, I think again from an ASA kit. And another spool. And the last one is another spool. Very nice. So let me dump also some old springs. Okay, all the springs they seem to be as also the same. So it's not a double spring, it's a spring that just became double. Okay. Cool. Then I can give you a close-up on this thing. Actually, let's make it the other way. So there we have it. Uh, on all the key pins we have standard pins, some really long ones. I have ever actually never seen such long key pins. And then on number one we have a standard pin. On number two we have a I'm not really sure what to call it. Is it the serrated or a spool? If it's a spool, it's a very small, tiny one. If it's a serrated, it's a very big one. But let's say it's a serrated. Then on number three, we have an ASA pin. On number four, we have a spool. And so we have on five and six. So that's what I have from this E square lock that I got from Bill. I really like it and think I'll play a little bit more with it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Keep it legal. See you next time. Bye.